Pirates of Wombat News. I'm Bob Lemur. I join you tonight on a very special segment about the Cold War. We'll start with the chilly events and go straight to the downright freezing temperatures of today's modern world on August 13th, 1961. Good evening, America. I'm Jill Armand. And I'm Bob Lemur. Thank you for joining us tonight for our special segment on the Cold War. It's been an awfully chilly period for America. We'd like to start off this segment with the little satellite that's really causing a buzz, or should I say, a beep? The little satellite that could, the Sputnik, was launched by the Soviet Union on October 4, 1957 at 7.28 p.m. It was said to be the size of a basketball and weighed 185 pounds. The Sputnik flew over the U.S. seven times a day. If you were listening to the radio as it flew over, you could even hear the faint beeping that was emitted by the satellite. The real question, however, that instilled fear into the hearts of many Americans was can the Soviet Union use this device to see into our homes? Our lives? The Sputnik. Sputnik. Sputnik may prove to be the Soviet's most deadly weapon. Now we cut to some live footage of the Sputnik. Sputnik. That is still orbiting America's Earth today. Beep. 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 Well, I can certainly see why that little metal paw would instill so much fear into the hearts of America, wouldn't you say, Bob? Sure, Jan. Beep. What's happened to Beep. the lights? Beep. 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 Ah! Beep. Oh, no. Beep. It's spooky. Beep. Beep. Ah! Is it safe to come out? Are the comms gone? Uh, we'll come back right after this commercial break. Oh my god. Oh, hello. This is my big American home, and everything is perfect about it. The only problem is about it, communists. You know what you do to communists? Come away. Works 100% of the time. See, look at this communist. Use Cobb away. Works all the time. Later, bro. Welcome back to Wombat News. Thank you for waiting for us through that commercial break. I must say, Cobb away is always my first choice when protecting myself from those dirty communists. As you can see, Jill has left us and is now at the Semipolitinks testing site in Kazakhstan, Russia, where it is rumored that the Russians are currently building a bomb. Jill. Jill, can you hear me right now? Oh, excellent. Jill, tell us what you're seeing. You're seeing fake houses? Cages full of animals? Jill, they're not planning to test that bomb anytime soon, are they? I hope not. That bomb is supposed to have a yield of 22 kilotons and incinerate everything in its path. Well, I guess we'll just switch to the live recording of you right now to see what you are seeing. Bless America, Jill. Was that the bomb? You don't see that at our 4th of July fireworks show. Jill, what is happening now? Jill! Jill, answer me! Can you not hear me? Jill! Switch back to the live camera. Random stranger, come here. Hello? Happen to see a woman named Jill there? She's an American woman. Do you see her? Is here? 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 It seems that Jill is no longer with us. I hate to say it, as much as I fought with her, I can't believe my my news partner of the past 30 years is finally gone. Cut the camera. Cut the camera. It's very hard for me to relive that horrific moment in our news history. 
Well, now I pass on the segment to my new news partner, Elizabeth Heimlich, and her news partner, Letitia Muhammad. Good evening. My, my name is Elizabeth Heimlich, and I am here to continue with our segment, The Cold War. Alongside me is my trusted partner, Letitia Muhammad, who is now at the site of what could be the chilliest time of the Cold War. How are you today, Letitia? Just dandy. I've heard that you are actually at the Berlin Wall, which could be considered one of the most horrific movements of the Cold War so far. Can you tell me more about it? Indeed, I am Elizabeth. I cannot, I cannot comprehend the fact that I am standing a few feet, few feet away, away from, from the concrete manifestation of the Iron Curtain. The Berlin Wall is more than 87 miles long. As I said before, concrete. It was once a barbed wire. This wall, Elizabeth, was built on August 13, 1961. It stands here today and prevents the citizens in communist East Germany from fleeing to democratic capitalist West Berlin. We are witnessing oppression this very second. Can you tell me more about the graffiti that is now on the west side of Berlin? The graffiti on the wall has become popular for artists from all over the world and a place where tourists can go and admire the artwork. The West Berlin side of the wall had artwork completely covered, while the East Berlin side was kept blank as people were not permitted to get close enough to the east side of the wall to paint anything. The majority of the artwork on this wall will remain anonymous because it is open for everyone to comment on. Thank you. Well, that ends our Cold War segment. Thank you for joining us tonight. Stay home and stay warm, America. God bless America. Cut the cameras, cut the cameras. I said cut the cameras, not the light. Well, good night, America.